Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are back with yet another of these brand new 2024 Schleich releases, and this time we've got a pretty controversial one as we have the Concavenator, and this is one that most people seem to dislike quite a bit, myself honestly included, and uh, some people do seem to like it still. I mean, there are definitely a few people that I had seen mention some pretty positive things about it. I will say in hand right now, the figure looks a little better than I was expecting it to, and honestly doesn't look much like a Schleich release to me because they usually have like that very almost trademark style of skin texture and stuff. Like their figures always look like Schleich products. The deformed look of this one kind of gives it that Schleich look, but like the skin texture and stuff I just feel like is quite different than what you usually see from Schleich. But it definitely, in my opinion, does look a bit better here in hand than I was giving it credit for from the original promotional images, specifically the head sculpt, I think actually looks pretty decent. And the uh, teeth, for some reason my camera's really not focusing on it, the teeth also look better than your average Schleich release, which is a plus. But the legs are still the most disastrous place, I think, for this figure. Regardless, I'm at least pretty happy to see it looking a little better here in hand than I was expecting it to, so let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look and we'll check it out from there. So starting up here at the head sculpt of the Concavenator, I can say again that head sculpt looks alright. It doesn't look terrible, it looks pretty decent overall, and it also has some pretty nice looking coloration. I actually am quite a fan of the tones of color used on this because we have some pretty cool looking greens, almost giving it like slightly, uh, kind of like a jungle sort of look, I think, as far as the you know, coloration goes, and I think it looks pretty decent. You can see that we've also got some dry brushing applied to it, especially on the lower jaw. You can kind of make out that there's like some darker tones that have been dry brushed over there. I kind of think it looks okay as far as that goes, but kind of not. I'm a little unsure about it. I think it does add a little extra color variation to the lower jaw, but some areas of the dry brushing looks just a little off, I think. We also have a red eye, and the red eye looks okay. You can see a nice black pupil, and it's also glossed nicely, giving it that nice, again, realistic eye shine. On top of that, we do, if I can get the mouth open, have an articulated jaw for the figure, which is nice. And considering the figure is a bit on the smaller side for your average Schleich release, when you come into the inside of the mouth, you can see that rather than those big, bulky, very schleich like teeth that we often see, like in fact we did just see on the recent Allosaurus, you can see we've got smaller teeth and they actually look okay. Probably some of the nicest looking teeth I've seen on a Schleich release in quite some time. You can also see some decent detail there for the skin stretching on the inside of the mouth, as well as some okay looking detail on the upper side and then the lower side as well. It's not great and the paintwork of the teeth, especially on the lower jaw, is a little bit sloppy, but it doesn't look terrible at the same time. And again, the jaw works pretty nicely. You know, it's actually a little stiff but that allows it to pretty much sit wherever you want it to. You can see we have a bit of a darker variation of green, and as we transition back, we get a little bit more of a lighter variation of green around the eye socket leading back into the body. And then if you take a look from up above, you see a reddish tone pick up there on the top of the body, actually kind of reminiscent to the Allosaurus, as that also had a reddish tone up here on the top of the body. You can see a turn in the head and neck of the concavenator, and overall, there's a nice kind of a turn to the entire body here as you can see the dinosaur looks like something on its right hand side has recently caught its attention there are also some osteoderms running along the back of the dinosaur and some decent looking skin texture again the skin texture just looks very different than what i usually see from schleich as you move down through the course of the body you can see some wrinkling there in the neck but not a whole lot there's also a gold sort of coloration there you actually have that light green that you see in the face following along the reddish tone and it transitions to the darker green as you move further down into the body though I will say that I do still see some of those lighter greens popping up here and there like I can see it there in the arms specifically but there's also this goldish type of a coloration that sort of like stripes and designs down from the reddish tone that's up there on the back 
one good thing as we move down into the arms you can see the wrists are actually you know decently placed they're not like off like we saw the one wrist on the allosaurus where the wrist was pronated we don't see that here for the concavenator though the nails do look a bit childish again you know the teeth look better but once you move down into those fingernails you can see they don't look bad but they definitely have a little bit of that kind of uh especially over here kind of have a little bit of that sort of schleich like bulkiness to it but it doesn't look terrible as we move up into the stomach region you can see some more okay looking skin texture we also continue to see that reddish tone following along the back you again have that classic concavenator appearance to the back of the dinosaur also all painted in that reddish tone but it also has a dry brushing over it, like a brown dry brushing to sort of highlight the detail you've got some muscle definition there in the thigh and again the legs are scrawny and kind of awkward looking but i think they look better in person than i expected them to you know they looked really rough on the prototype images i think they definitely look a little bit better in hand but still not quite what i'm used to when it comes to schleich i just feel like the you know fine detail of most of their figures and the proportions and everything don't usually look terrible but this one the legs just look really oddly scrawny and very strangely sculpted you can see that there is a calf muscle but it's also quite puny but then as you move down into the foot sculpt the foot sculpt's actually pretty huge we've got a really large foot for our concavenator and not only a really large but a like hilariously large foot sculpt you can see from the side it doesn't look too bad but when you take into consideration the size of the leg moving down compared to the size of the foot you can see that foot is definitely quite large we do have some scoots running down the foot down into the toes you can also see a gray for the nails the nails look okay as far as the sculpt goes there are also dew claws for the dinosaur but they actually don't look to have any paintwork well maybe the one does this one over here looks like maybe it has some paintwork but this one definitely doesn't look like it has any paint to me but as we move back up again into the tail you can see the skin kind of stretching off of the tail there because this leg is taking a step forward so you would see that it's not super obvious but it is there a little bit and again we continue to have that same sort of coloration as we move out through the length of the tail the skin texture continues to look okay kind of fine overall and there's a nice curve to the tail which is actually a pretty nice looking curve a lot of the time when it comes to schleich releases you'll get like very exaggerated like wavy curved tails but this one actually looks a lot more natural i think than what we often see you can see the underside looks okay but there's not really a whole lot going on down here you can see some decent paintwork but nothing really different from what we see up above and some okay looking skin texture but nothing that's overly impressive the dinosaur looks very scrawny and a little bit starved kind of and again you can't see how huge those feet are like that's a pretty good visual right there just to get a very good idea of how large the feet are on the figure again you can see the head sculpt looks pretty decent over here just like it did on the first side everything looks nice and consistent over here as we move back you can see that the neck is turned away from us so you can kind of make out how the skin is stretching and tensing a little bit so that's a nice little addition right there to the model you can see a little difference in the positioning of the arms but not super different the only big difference over here is the fact that the leg is extended back as the dinosaur looks like maybe it's recently taken a step and kind of has stopped to sort of survey the landscape and just look around a little bit but you can again see the foot is gigantic on this side as well however as you lead along again everything looks pretty much as it did on the initial side so not too bad but definitely not great i will say it's absolutely better than i was expecting it to be but still not the greatest concavenator i've ever seen as far as a size goes it is definitely on the smaller side of things i don't know what would be the best way to measure this we'll try it from this side so from the snout to the tail about eight and a half inches or around 21 and a half centimeters the highest point is definitely going to be the back of our figure you're looking at a little under three and a half inches or closing in on actually i would say almost about eight and a half centimeters just a little bit over heading toward nine centimeters but not quite for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack Golovosaurus, robert muldoon and the collect a human being next to our concavenator from schleich and you can see it as i said does have a pretty small size honestly smaller than i was expecting because schleich usually releases fairly decently sized figures so i was a little caught off guard by the smaller size of this one but 
Still not necessarily a bad thing. Again, it's actually larger than most concavenator models if you look at like the Safari LTD version and stuff like that. They're usually a bit on the smaller side. So even if it is small for Schleich, it's still not a half bad size for a concavenator. And when you look at similarly sized figures, here is the Safari LTD U Tyrannus, which you can see is extremely similar in size to the concavenator. Not really far off at all. Same deal here for the How Long Good Allosaurus. You can see yet again pretty similar in size to the Schleich Concavenator. And here is the Safari LTD version of the Concavenator next to the Schleich version. You can see the Safari LTD version is way nicer than the Schleich version, but also you can see that the Schleich version, again even though smaller, is a bit larger than you get with the Safari LTD release. And then when it comes to another very similarly sized figure, we've got the Safari LTD Baryonyx, which you can see is also quite similar in size to our Concavenator. And although there is a Collect A Concavenator, I'm not quite sure where mine is, so we'll go ahead and bring in the Ichthyovenator here next to the Concavenator for another comparison. And then one final comparison, we also have the Collect A version of the Dilophosaurus next to the Concavenator, which again you can see the Concavenator is a little bit larger. So this brand new 2024 release from Schleich of their Concavenator is 50-50 for me, because it does look better in hand than I was expecting it to, so that is a plus, especially the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt looks a lot nicer, and even the legs look better in person than they did from the prototype images, but that's not to say that they look great. They look better, but they still look pretty bad overall, and I think the biggest problem for this figure are the legs. Like, if the legs had been improved... I feel like the figure as a whole would have been a lot nicer and honestly pretty decent for Schleich because usually Schleich has like very interesting designs where their figures almost at times don't even look like the species they are meant to represent. But here it actually does look pretty okay as far as a concavenator goes again until you lead into the legs and specifically the worst part is how scrawny the legs are and the massive feet. The feet are huge on this figure and I don't think that there was any reason or need for for that so they could have improved the figure just by simply fixing the legs that said it still looks okay once you leave the area of the legs and you move throughout the course of the figure it's got a pretty decent looking sculpt pretty decent looking pose nothing over the top or crazy impressive we have better looking teeth on this than we often do from Schleich we have a nice articulated jaw that works pretty beautifully and okay paint apps I'm not super sold on the paint scheme or paint apps of it but I do at least like that kind of almost jungle like look that we have going on for it and the coloration they've used I'm just not super sold on the dry brushing that they've applied because a lot of the dry brushing almost looks like sloppy paint rather than, you know, enhancements to the paint, which is kind of what dry brushing usually is. It normally would help to enhance the detail and kind of show that sculpt and detail off and just add a little bit more to the paint application, whereas a lot of the dry brushing on this one is just kind of sloppily done and looks a little bit more like paint mishaps rather than paint enhancements. That being said, it's still, again, better in hand than I was expecting it to, so that's definitely good news, but it's also not the greatest concavenator out there. There are definitely better offerings for this species. Regardless, if you are interested in picking one of these up, I will include a link in the description to where you can purchase this on the Schleich website right now. So make sure you head on over there, grab this if you'd like it, and also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.